In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put some LED strips on your TV and the benefits of using them beyond just looking cool. This is a nice, easy project, nothing crazy. Um, anyone can do it. But before we do, take a look at my current LED strips. They need some help. Here's a look at my strips that I reuse from a smaller TV. They are spotty, there's not enough of them, so it's time to fix this. For this project, I'm using the Nano Leaf Essential Strips because they have great cool and warm white. I found in our living room, we don't use much color in there, so these are a great choice. They are thread enabled. If you're not familiar with thread, uh, thread is a new protocol that creates a low powered mesh network between your devices so you can communicate and also expand your network work for devices farther out. Uh, these only work with Apple's HomeKit. Amazon and Google aren't supporting Thread yet. Now, if you're going for color, I would definitely go with the LifeX Z strips. These can maintain great brightness with deep, saturated colors. That's what I use in here. Here's a clip. If you look at them next to the Nanoleaf Essential strips, you can see how much of a difference the intensity is between the two at full. They just can't keep up. Make sure to check out the video in the description. I use the LifeXE strips to demonstrate the loop technique for doing corners. I'll also put down there links to both these strips and the Nano Leaf Essential. For this, we're gonna use a nice, gentle curve technique to make our corners. We're not gonna do any cutting. We're not gonna use any connectors. Uh, for those of you in the comments who are like, you should have used connectors that looks like crap um majority of people don't use uh, connectors and will never cut their strips one because a lot of them are expensive and two they might want to use them somewhere else so why cut them also from all the uh, smart home creators I've spoken to, none of them are cutting strips and a lot of them have bigger channels than me. Now, one of the first things I do when I get strips is heat them up. What you'll find is that often the strips are wound up nice and tight like this and they don't want to lay flat when it comes like that. And that becomes very difficult to try to make a gentle bandwidth. Get them out of the box, we'll get them warmed up. Uh, something else to think about is that you need to wipe down your TV if it comes with an alcohol wipe. What I did is I used some rubbing alcohol and just wiped down the back of my TV, the whole back of it, so that any oils from your hands and picking it up or dust, dirt, none of that stuff stays on there and you'll get a good uh, attachment. I've got them plugged in to start heating up to help the process. I've turned on as many LEDs as possible by going with a blend of the warm white and cool white. While these heat up, let's talk about the benefits of using backlighting on your TV or also known as bias lighting. Reason number one we know is that they look cool, but reason number two is probably more important. It helps your eyes out. Now, as I explain this first, no, I'm not an optometrist. Uh, this is just from the research I gathered. Apparently, our eyes are always trying to find a balance between bright areas, bright light, and dark areas or dim areas. And when you're watching TV in a dark room, you have a bright spot with surrounding areas in your peripheral vision that are dark. So your eyes are trying to find a balance between that. When you put the LED backlighting on, what it does is it spreads the light around so the surrounding areas aren't as dark and your eyes, it's a little easier for them to adjust just for the different contrast. So making it gentler on your eyes. They're also great because they provide a nice ambient glow in the room. I like to use lamps and indirect lighting. I just think it looks better. Now that they're heated up, let's lay them out to make sure we get the width and the height right before we stick anything down. Now with this, I'm using four meters total. So I would start in the center where the two meter section and the two extensions meet. With four meters, it's gonna take it right to the edge. If I go with uh, three meters, then it's gonna get too short and too tight. So you gotta figure that out. A strip like this, I could cut the end if I wanted to, not going to, but that is an option to shorten it. I'm starting at the top in the center. I know I need to get it pretty close to the edge. Only peel off as much of the tape as you need and make sure your connections are tight. Make sure everything is down really well 
you're going to need that, especially as you get to these corners uh, where you're going to want to make this curve and then attach back down. And you're going to want that as tight as, not as tight as you can get, but um, you want it kind of tight. So that's down there. And if you hold it and just let it get used to that first, get down to the next corner. And don't break any LEDs by trying to do the turn too tight. It's not worth it. Again, hold them in the corner so they're tight, but be gentle. You don't want to snap any LEDs. One of my other tips is make sure you turn on your TV before you mount it. I've seen so many reviews where people did not test it first. They get it mounted and then the thing doesn't work. And I feel so bad for those people because I know how hard it is to mount a TV. So definitely power up your TV if it's a brand new one before you put it on the wall to make sure it looks good. Let's do the other side now. I think the biggest thing is warming them up so you're not fighting the LEDs. Just get them soft. There's not a lot of heat off of LEDs, but they still generate some. Oh, look where that ended up. Look, it's almost, it's a little wider wider than a gap between them. That looks pretty good. I'm happy. Now let's take a look at a few of the colors, make sure that all the LEDs are good on the color side. And look how dim that got. Uh, very dim, but it looks like we're good on the LEDs. Let's hang it up, see how it looks. I was editing this video and I realized one of the things I didn't cover was that don't try to go for perfection with this stuff and expect it. You're gonna see that mine is not even everywhere and there's variables in there that are gonna affect it, such as on mine. The TV, it's the shape of your TV will affect it. The distance between here and the angle affects how the light shines up here. The curve of the corner casts light out here. Down here on the TV, it, the thickness between the wall is substantially less. So down here, it's spottier. And then there's the curve down there. So don't stress on this stuff. You, it, it'll drive you insane if you fixate on it. And anybody in the comments that says anything about it, I explained why it happened. Now here's a look at the finished product. It looks way better than the Phillips strips. One, there's enough of them to cover the whole TV. And two, uh, the white light's so much better. Now apparently, when it comes to white light in your TV, what works best because of the color temperature of your TV is a cooler white light. So with the defaults on a television, that tends to work best. But if you warm up your television and pick a different setting, you can warm up your lights to complement it. Or if you pick a cooler setting, make your lights a little cooler. Now, even though we don't plan on using these in color, it is nice to have the option. Here's a look at it so you can see how it is rolling through the different colors. It does get nice deep colors. They're just not the brightest option. Now, if you were on the fence about doing some LEDs, hopefully this helped encourage you to get out there and do it. It's, they're easy to do and don't look for perfection. You don't need it. It's on the backside of the TVs. Now, if you are using LEDs on your TV, let us know which one's in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here where I use the LifeX strips to demonstrate the loop technique for doing corners. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.